Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Spectre XD model here and this one is an ultra book with a 13.3 inch screen which is an iCore 5 4 gig RAM and some models they come with 128 gig SSD and some with 32 and some with 256 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your SSD in case you need to want to have more storage all right, to open this laptop, you first you need to power it on. And once you power it up, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set, as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are S2 classy steel. Those are really tough and steel bits. But we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, I'm gonna be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening electronics. In this laptop, I noticed that there's a missing screw right in the middle, but this screw is a long screw, same thing as a, the side screws. Or it could be a short one. All right, so what are we gonna do first? We're gonna remove all the screws. Remember the front end screws are the short ones, and the sides towards the back, these are the long screw. And I'll let this, you guys, let me in the comment know if the middle one is a short screw or is the long screw. All right. So we're going to start removing from one side. Also, I only realized that there's only one person of the viewers subscribing to my channel. If you guys want to support and help the channel, just think about subscribing and clicking that like button if you find my videos helpful. I really appreciate it. Keep the screws in two piles so you don't mismatch them. All right, I remove the short screws and the long screws. And I hope with your help, you'll find out if the middle one is a short or long one. Once we got the screws removed, we need to grab the guitar pick and we're going to open up the, the screen a little bit. And what we're going to do, we want to stick the guitar pick in between the top and the bottom cover. You see where the audio jack is here? We don't want to start from this side. We want to start from the front. You stick it right on the between two and just twist it. Make sure you those clicks. Mine is already loosened up really badly. So do this back where the HDMI ports are. Just loosen that side up. The back end. Do the back side. And once you did the back, now you can close the lid. Well, and mine just came down. So pretty much you have to lift this side and push it towards the audio jack so you don't break the jack. And down here you can see this enormous battery. Okay, you're gonna leave the battery alone. You do not need to remove the battery. And uh, the M.2 SATA right here is on this side. I'll leave the link in the description for a bigger capacity. All you need to do is to remove one and two screws right here. You do not need to remove the battery or anything like that. Once you remove the screw, the drive is gonna be popped up in 45 degree angle. Just grab it in the same position and pull it out. Once you get the new drive, this is a 128 gig drive. And you can put up to one terabyte if you wish. Just grab it in 45 degree, make sure the notch matches the notch right on the dim. You slide it down in 45 all the way in and bring it toward the board and screw down the two screws. Now remember, once you do this, before you do this, back up all your files on the old drive. Make sure you backed up all your files. If you didn't back up your old files, you can remove this drive and get a USB adapter, plug it on it here and use it as an USB adapter, USB 3. Then you can use it on a storage device. So you can convert your old 128 gig to a regular thumb drive with a higher capacity. That's another way. Or you can just connect it later on to just pull out your files. Now, once you have the new drive in here, you will not have any operating system installed. So to install the new system in here, I, before, let's put a pause on that one. To put the bottom cover, you want to grab it from this side where the audio jack is in. Bring it, make sure the audio jack is plugged in right here. And then bring it down and then put the bottom screws. All right. Just remember that once you turn on the laptop, you will not have any operating system installed. I made another video how to install Windows 10 uh, freely on a thumb drive. 
is uh, completely free to install follow my uh, the link in my description for my other video how to burn the windows 10 on your thumb drive and how you can install it on a uh, hp laptops it's really simple it only takes about 20 25 minutes and you have your new freshly installed windows on your laptop and the next is to just put your old files back on from the old hard drive if you already backed it up just push it on on the new drive Again, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you like this video and helps you guys out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.